Hey there guys, I am Sydney and I'm with Isotunes and today I'm going to be walking you through our Ultra Humble Wear product. So first let's get started and go through what is included with this product. Looking at what comes inside, I've already gone ahead and removed some of my accessories, but when you first remove the case from the packaging, you're going to find that the earbuds have a small plastic little piece there on what is the charging point for your earbuds. So go ahead and remove those and place those to the side. Place my case right here. So accessories that come in the box, you're going to find anything with your charging cords and your ear tips, they are underneath this white tray. Um, and then in our side panel right here, you're actually going to find your manual and your quick start guide. So keep those, they're really great to have and you'll be able to reference those online as well. So the ear tips that come with our product, the product does come fitted with our short, small ear tips, but the other points that you'll come with are both your medium and large short foam and then your small, medium and large tall foam. Um, these are really great, go through all of your sizes to see what fits your ear the best. You may find that your ears take different sizes and you can always order replacements on our website. They do also come with a triple flange silicone ear tip. These are great for low level environments. This is not something that you're going to want to use for something of a constant state noise or something that is really high volume, um, but great for just everyday usage. Thinking of, of it as a regular earbud. It also does come with your USB-C charging cord. In the charging case, you do get both your left and right earbuds, and both earbud does come with um, a removable ear hook. So these are removable. You can take those, store them in the case, or keep them on the earbud. They're great for supporting it and keeping the earbud fully secured in your ear. Also available in the charging case is your boom microphone. And this is, is attachable to either earbud but when you're not using it, it's great to just store it so you do not lose anything, keep it in your case, and you'll never be concerned about having another clear call again. Now, when we're thinking about fitting and what is important in this process, again, is making sure we have the right ear tip selected for our ears. And for me, I use a small, short foam. So I'm gonna go ahead, what's really important in this process, is to roll or compress the ear tip. You'll start to see that it gets more narrow in size. And as we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and reach around with my ear tip. This is my left, it'll say the L on the back. And I'm going to continue to compress that as I'm getting over here. I'm going to take my hand and pull my ear back and outwards to open my ear canal more. And then I'm going to push the ear tip as comfortably as I can into my ear. I will start to hear some difference in noise as the foam begins to expand, and that's what's going to give me a really secure level of protection. I will even come in and rotate the product a bit, knowing that for the orientation of this product, I'm going to want it to read isotunes on the side. So I've got that. I'm starting to hear a little bit of tone differences as the foam has expanded, giving protection, and I'm going to gently bend the ear hook behind my ear. The product is now secure. It's also got the aware function on. And let's go ahead and put the other one. Again, I'm just going to roll, compressing the foam. It's getting more narrow. I'm going to pull my ear back and away from my body, inserting that ear tip as deeply comfortable, waiting for the foam to expand anywhere from up to 10 to 15 seconds for this process and then I'll gently place that ear hook behind my ear. I've got both of the products facing forward in this, and now we're gonna just start to think about with this function, what would we use for powering on and off? So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and put them back in the case to walk you through how would we begin to use this product? And what do we need to do when we know we've got a good fit, we know what our ear tip size is, I'm using it every day, how do I power this on and off? How do I get it paired to my phone? From a powering on and off standpoint, when you're thinking about this, when I open my case, the product is now active. I'm taking it out, this is now powered on. If I want to power off, I'm just going to place the earbud back into its charging station, and then I will close the case. This product is now idle, and it's saving its battery life. 
There is another option, say that I'm at my workstation, I've just happened to leave my earbuds out for a few hours, they've gone ahead and powered off because they have not been paired to a device. What I'm going to do now is I would have it in my ear, or if I want to have it outside, and I would use the multifunction surface to power on this device. I could just go ahead, toss it in and out of the case, and it'll be ready to go, but say my case isn't around, if I'm having it fit, I would just hold that multifunction surface for about two seconds, until I hear the phrase power on in the device. This goes from whether you're powering on to powering off, or if you're powering off to powering on. So say I have my product already fitted, I wanna just go ahead and turn the earbuds off. I'm over listening to music, but I wanna maintain the hearing protection that I have in my ears. I can just hold the surface of the device until I hear power off. Now with Bluetooth pairing, something that's really great is the first time you open this, it's going to be ready to pair. Um, you'll start to see these blue and red flashes coming from the earbuds. This means the product is in pairing mode. I'm gonna go ahead and take my smart device out. You'll navigate to your connected devices settings. So navigating to my settings, since it's flashing the blue and green lights, it's going to show up as other devices or devices that are available to pair. It will say Isotunes, Ultra Combo Wear. When I go ahead and tap that, It'll have a little pausing and then it will say connected. If you do have the device in at this time, the device will relay Bluetooth connected. Now, when we work through user controls um, to go through, how do I want to control my music? How do I want to control aware volume? So with your earbuds, your right earbud is going to be the earbud that controls music and your phone calls. And this is really easy with a simple tap to function functionality. Looking again at that surface, you know, we do have this hexagonal shape of a, on the face of the product, and we're going to want to tap at the widest on the center plate. And you'll notice with the Isotunes logo, there is a small microphone, and then you'll want to tap at basically what is the top of that, safe, that surface. This can take some getting used to, so practice these controls as we go through them. It might take a few days to get used to them, but don't be afraid to reach out to customer service if you have any questions. So with music, say I've got this in, I'm listening to my jams, and I'm ready to go. If I give just a one single tap, that will either play or pause my music. If I give a double tap, it will go to the next song that is playing either in my playlist or maybe the next episode of a podcast that I'm listening to. If I give a triple tap, it will go back to the previous track played or go back in time to the song that I am listening to. When I am taking a phone call, I can be using my boom mic or I could just be having the earbud in it itself, but earbud does have its own microphone, but the boom mic is fantastic when you're wanting those really clear calls. We'll go over the fitting, but first the functionality of what it is to take a phone call. I'll start to hear the ringing when I'm listening in my earbud. All I have to do is give a single tap and that will answer the phone call. Now, say I want to mute myself throughout the phone call so I can continue to listen and maintain the conversation. I would just give another single tap. When I am finished with the conversation, if I'm waiting for the other person to hang up or if I want to go ahead and end the phone call, I would just hold to this function. Now, fitting the boom mic in this process, like I said, it is configurable to either earbud. But what's going to be really important is following some really simple directions. So, pulling our boom mic here out of the case. You'll notice it is very pliable, it's very bendable. And on each of our earbud, you'll notice that there is a black silicone area that is just a little cover for the aux input. Now, I will take a look at both of my products on the green function or on the yellow black portion of our um, European body. There is going to be a little silver arrow. And if I'm looking at it from this view, it will point downwards. There's also an arrow that is just imprinted in the plastic on our boom mic. I'll go ahead and line those up and push those together. You do wanna make sure they're really secured, so don't be afraid if you need to push a little harder. Now, when I have this in, you know, I've got my boom mic, I will be able to have crystal clear calls, but what's really important on this is on the boom mic, there is a little tiny white arrow right next to the poof portion. This is going to wanna to be faced towards my mouth in order to pick up the most clear audio. And you know, I can, I can keep it pliable, but continue to maintain that that area is the area closest to your mouth. 
When I don't have that in use, I'll go ahead and store that in my charging case. And all you do for storing that is seating it here at the bottom first with the audio input and then curving it around the side and placing it in the top and it'll stay really secure in there. Now that is our right earbud. When we're looking at our left earbud, this will control our aware functionality. And with this, if you're familiar with our aware products, this will be something where similar to our free aware, it is just a tap to control functionality for the volume of it. We'll go into aware in a little bit, but the functionality for the user controls of this would be to volume up, it is just a single tap, and then to volume down, it is a double tap. Now something you're probably wondering when you're thinking, okay, I can play my music, I can go to the next soundtrack, how do I control the volume? You'll do this on your smart device. So I'll use my phone's functionality to control the volume of the music that is being played. Maybe you've used this for a whole day, and now you're thinking, okay, I need to charge my earbuds. With up to eight hours of battery life, all I need to do is place my earbuds into the charging case and close it. To see if my earbuds are fully charged, all I need to do is look at the, bright, the light signals on my earbuds as they're in the case. If the light is displaying as red, that means that the product is charging. If there is no light displayed, that means that the product is fully charged. You can also test and see what battery life is left on your charging case. First, you'll want to look on the back. There is a small button right next to our USB port, and clicking this does show up the lights on the front of our charging case. Using this light, there are four lights and it will display what is left of our battery life. If it's just one light flashing, that means that there's under 25% of the battery left in the charging case. Two lights means that there is between 25 and 50%. Three lights means between 50 and 75% battery life. Four lights means it is 75% or above in battery life. And then when there is a steady state of light, it means that it is 100% charged. You'll notice when you click the button that that is displayed by what light is actually flashing. So that's how you get the indication of what is left in your charging case. So when you are ready to charge the case in general, again, going back to our charging cord, it comes included, but you're thinking, what do I plug this into? It's important to remember that you do not want to plug this into anything that has a high voltage. We want to recommend that you use something that is five volts or under. So this would be similar to using something to your phone brick that you would use on a day-to-day -day basis or plugging it into your computer. So this leads us to the aware functionality. And if you're familiar with our products, I wanna give you a brief explanation on what aware technology actually is. Aware technology is something that is level dependent technology, allowing you to still maintain and listen to your environment, but allow for hearing protection at the same time. So this product in its default state, every time you put it in, will turn on with aware technology. And when a loud noise over 85 dB, which is considered the safe listening level over an eight hour period, it will take that noise and cut out of aware technology. So say I am a woodworker and I wanna go and use my miter saw. Every time that I'm leading up to the miter saw, there is no loud noise. I'm continuing to listen to my music. I could hear someone else, one of my coworkers talking about something in the wood shop. But once it starts to hear that loud noise of my saw, it will take the out environmental noise and completely cut it out. I'll still continue to hear my music and I'll still be able to enjoy having a high level of protection. I just won't long, I just will no longer hear my environmental sounds. Using this, there is an ability to control what is the amplification of your environmental noise through the earbud. Again, with that left earbud, you'll use the tap to function volume control. Using one tap will increase your aware volume, two taps will decrease your aware volume. The sound that is relayed through the product will let you know through different times whether the volume has been increased or decreased. When you're thinking about aware, there's also only four levels of amplification in this product. You have your high, your medium, low, or your off state. So once you've reached the high, it will no longer let you increase the volume to any stage above that. And once you reach off, it'll let you know based on how it cuts out the environmental noise. Well, that's all we've got for today. So enjoy your Ultracom Aware, and the next time you need to hear from us, just reach out.